It's dark time. Yes, Exodus. What's up? It is. It is time. They disarm too. I guess I'm gonna be uh, maxed unarmed by the end of this as well. Oh my god, 200 one-handed crit? Insane. I might judge like justice too at some point. Just gonna let him run back. If he dies over there, can't loot him. Yeah, he's escaping. Hey, zoning out the instance is supposed to be my trick. They're not supposed to be able to do that. What the hell? I'm loving this axe though, dude. This thing hits so hard. It's crazy. Hey, Fojo. Run is going extremely well so far. I've killed one mob. 100% of the mobs in here I've attempted I've killed. So we're right on track. Uh... I have, to, I have to see what my uh, Teal of Justice is bound to. It uh, did not work with the button I thought it was. My control 2, what the hell? So these mobs respawn really quick. My plan is to not clear these side rooms, at least in this initial hallway. Down the other hallways I might, but... I think spending all that time clearing the side rooms is gonna hurt a lot. Oh no, that's the guild leader in this guild. Oh no, what happened? Wait, he's not appearing on the death log. What happened? Oh god. MLG just spells. Yeah, well, I'm paying attention. It's pretty quick. It'll be nice to get cleansed. What is that? Like level 40? Hmm. This might be a two pull? Maybe even a three pull? I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be really nice once I get some points for like fighting multiple mobs. Pretty high chance of it being up. Oh, 
Oh, okay. And these guys kick. Prisoners kick. Need to need to remember that. That's pretty pretty important. I really am gonna be like max unarmed at the end of this, aren't I? Yeah, actually, zone out. I don't see him. Oh, there he is. The only patrol. It's the only one I see square. See, this is a captive. There's prisoners that kick. I believe. Could be multiple that kick too. Gotta stay on my toes. Get our pat friend next. Oh, what axe is that? It's from uh one like the very first Curzon quest to get like uh what are they called? The remedies? Jungle remedies? Hoodie Rick, welcome. Yeah, it was a really, really annoying quest. Cause the mobs have inner fire, so they have a million armor. They renew themselves, which takes for like six or seven percent of their health and then they have a heal that heals for like their entire health so if you don't have hodge or resist they just like heal to full Isn't the orc guy supposed to be in there? Am I crazy? I haven't done stockades in a long time. Oh, down the hall? Okay. Is there like a rare spawn that can be in there? I do have memories of like some boss being in there. Yeah, definitely no boss. Okay, hmm. new mob. We'll wait. Thought it might come up a little further. Ooh, dual wield. We love dual wield. Ooh, they stun though. We don't love stun. Dual wield's nice though.
gonna wait on the pack, probably. Oh, rare spawn in the cell. Brugal and Iron Knuckle. It's a pretty good name. What boss am I going to right now? Is this Basil Thread? Basil? Okay. Let's see. Dextran Ward? Is he on the opposite side? And then Targor, he's supposed to be down here, right? Hamhawk. That's his actual name? Hamhawk? Just want to see if these kick. Okay. Probably not. I won't take that as definitive, but I'm guessing they don't. Dexter, another said. Oh, Targor is random. The power of the Hodge guy. This mob's at 50% before this one even starts attacking me. Okay, we're gonna test, see if they kick. Okay, I think it's probably just the prisoners then. That's really nice, because I don't think there's gonna be any more prisoners the rest of the run. So I target him probably in one of the side doors. Oh, okay, it's a good idea. What is his name? Targor. Yeah. I said these guys still give like the XP I get from killing normal mobs my level. Okay, he has marked star. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Oh, uh, okay. We'll get him on the way back, I think. Because the main thing I'm worried about now is like respawns. So I want to kind of finish this stuff. And he'll be very easy to get to later. Dude, level 28. Oof. Is Basil Thread level 30? Ooh. Also, does this guy pull with these? That's going to be pretty rough. Basil's 29, okay.
Do these guys pull with them though? It's gonna be yeah, pretty sketchy. <laughs> they sure do. So they do pull together. I think I can probably kill an insurgent though. That's a lot of damn damage though. See, they got 2,000, 2,100. He's got 2,200. They don't really have... HP isn't much different. Is it possible? They pull with him. But he doesn't pull with them. Could that be it then? I'm gonna go do Targor while I'm waiting on Bubble. It's gonna be a little rough. Are there any crazy spots in here? Like the Dead Man's one? Yeah. <laughs> 
No loot? What? Don't think this is gonna work. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Nothing besides the rare spawn drop suit? What? It's terrible. It's rough out here, dude. Oh, is it bloodlust? Is that what you cast? Yeah, the damage is crazy. 3% tax speed. Let me rewatch that. What was the time on it? Can I just outrun that? The battle shout's rough too. Oh yeah, blow those thirty seconds. Hmm. He's got on both of them though, right? I think it's a single target cast. Oh, he's got on all of them. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, he's got like an enrage maybe too. Oh no, I think that's the bloodlust animation. Oh man, I came pretty close to killing one. I really just gotta be able to kill just one of them. It looks like it has like no cooldown or a low cooldown though, because it's like a single target cast that is like buffing on them. See, Basil Thread's in there. I wonder if I can just, like, sneak around over to him. Kind of seems like I can outrun these guys, too, maybe? So maybe I could do like a kite where I like kite to the entrance and then I like kite back. I don't know. Could work. Yeah, 
he's definitely gonna aggro, right? Well, I'm seven levels higher. Probably gonna aggro. Sneaky, sneaky. Will Basil like pat back there at all? Oh, uh, <laughs> just coming out here. It's like, what the hell? You can pull the ads with that, Basil. Hmm. He stuns for four seconds, okay. So I definitely need to fight him solo. In this position, it looks like he'll pull though, right? Am I crazy? Oh. Now this is hardcore gaming. Yeah, for the run, I got a seal of justice or judgment of justice. Working is working. All right, I think it's time to get food buff too. And spirit scroll. We up steam. Thank you, what's up? Mega pressure. There's no safe escape here. I got a ham hock and two of his buds waiting for me if uh, this goes poorly. Okay. Just gonna wait for him to pat back a little bit just in case there's anything weird with him like seeing me at the door running out here like aggroing that somehow Oh, 
You got it. Didn't know he was going to run, though. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was so scary. That was so scary. <laughs> dude, I didn't think Basil Thread ran. Holy fuck. Dude. Yeah, I had to run out. I got Basil Thread. I didn't know you ran away. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was for sure dead there. Oh, heart's being so fast, dude. I thought that was it. He's like their leader, dude. Why does he run away? If I knew that, I could just, uh, judge me a justice of. I didn't think he was a coward. I guess I had too much respect for him. Oh. Oh, leather. Jesus Christ. Stop risking so much, what? You gotta risk it for the biscuit. He is a criminal, yeah. Uh, I gotta try to get back there quick. Delete the head before he despawns. I should have been, uh, I should put on Seal of Light and been hitting them too as I was running. That was definitely a misplay. Not running away. Tactical advancement in the opposite direction of the enemy. So you can't get reinforcements. Okay, yeah. It depends how you spread it, yeah. I I see what he's doing now. Oh man, it's gonna take a while to get back to him. I'm gonna try to sneak around that. Hopefully that whole hallway doesn't respond. Never mind. I'll just fight that. It's fine. How long is his corpse gonna stay up? I'm glad I didn't stop to loot it though. Yeah, I for sure was dead if I stopped to loot that. Because like I killed him with a judgment from like 10 yards away. Oh, are there evade spots in here? I should probably know this.
Okay, prisoners interrupt. There's like a pat through there too, right? I don't know how legitimate it is, but read that dungeon boss stays up for 10 minutes after dead. Okay. That would... I mean, oh man. I don't think I'll make it in time then, probably. We'll try though. These ones respawned. Oh, those aren't actually respawned yet. Okay, we we can do this. We can do this. Go, go, go. All right, we're good. We got a clear hallway. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's gone, dude. He's gone. It's okay. The chest is here, though. Bomber. Hey, I got the kill. That's all that matters. Like, it, it would be nice to... I don't think the rewards actually matter either. I mean, it would be nice to get that done, but... I got the boss kill. That is... The main goal. If I had known he was gonna run to didn't peg him for a coward. Um oh Cam Deep Fury? Does he drop anything? A staff. I mean, just for like full completion? I don't know. I guess I kill him. For Hamhawk, I really should have got some like slumber sand. Because if I could just sleep one of those guys, then kill one, it, like sleep one, kill one insurgent, run out, come back, then, you know, kill another insurgent, then 1v1 him. That would be okay, but all three of them, that's rough. Actually gonna work back this way. We're gonna get more respawns. Yeah, let's see. There's a pat too that could potentially come down here. Oh, 
wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it got low, that was scary. Those would be awesome, but I just bought these from the vendor. Wait, who's technically the final boss in here? Is Basil Thread the final boss or Dextran Ward? Who's considered like the, the end boss here? It's Basil Thread, right? Basil, okay, highest level two, got it. Uh, silly. Forgot to judge him. Not technically an emboss, okay. Like lore wise though? Like, he's the guy organizing it, right? Oh, dude, I did it again. <laughs> No. I'd have to fight a million of these guys. Oh, Dexter and Ward can fear. That's good to know. Oh, he's he's with Van Cleef? I mean, Cleve's not really a bad guy, right? Didn't he like build Stormwind and they didn't pay him for it? He was like, pay me. And they're like, no. So then he like started killing them. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. It's too low level. I already have a 17.7 .7 DPS weapon. Unless it procs like crazy. The fire's riots killed the queen? Oh, I don't know that. Does anybody know if you if a mob starts to run and you judge justice on them, do they stop running? Or do you have to do it before they begin running? Not sure what our boy Cam Deep Fury does, but we'll find out. Oh, he's got a little stun, okay. We don't like that. Oh, he's in D stance.
Yeah, two seconds, not bad. It doesn't do like a whole lot of damage either. Oh. Couldn't keep the Crusader up. Rough. Gravity Fist, welcome. Do it while they run away and they stop and come back to you? Okay, good to know. Yeah, this one's not a rare mob. I forgot to grab the quest for this guy. It's from like Glock Madon, but I think it's a chain. I had it on the last pally, I think, but not this one. Forgot to. If you solo this, oh good. Wait, sorry, I'll read it a sec. Uh, sent it to Frost Adamas. He died on a sixty mage in stockades from a cloth. Oh no, I like Frost though. I I couldn't do that to him. I've already gotten uh, most of the bosses down. I'm skipping Hamhawk. I got Basil Thread, though. Yeah, I don't think Hamhawk drops anything either. Can you get dazed by mobs this low level? As a level 60? I can't remember like the formula on like defense and daze. I figured like what 35 level difference though? They shouldn't even be able to daze you. They use NPC just as judgment on players. True. They gotta get their revenge on us somehow. Got stunned with 30 mobs on him. And Blink was on CD. Oh no. I mean, I guess that'll do it. Oh, could have low defense skill. Yeah, that's true. I actually heard of a lot of uh, prop pallies and wrath recently that aren't max defense skill because they like boosted to 70 and then they got boosted from 70 to 80. So they never actually fought anything. And then they're having issues with their crit cap. Uh, TOGC up on PTR? Not yet. Uh, the PTR is up, but... Well, PTR is always up, but the new patch is on PTR, and TOGC testing will be tomorrow, or I guess technically later today. It'll start at, like, what, like 11 hours from now? I think that was their target. 11 a.m. Pacific.
Look like what Asmund would look like if he was a Chad. Yeah, I get, I get that a lot. Even from my girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, that's why we got the Chadsman Gold emote in the chat. First time viewer, hey, I hope you come back again. Welcome, welcome. I mostly do prop alley stuff, uh, both Wrath and now kind of hardcore too. Um, kind of like my main focus I always try to solo like lots of old things you know like try to do like solo content um, like old raids old dungeons heroics all that kind of stuff I try to like solo tank every single fight that's designed for two tanks and like old war stuff like that that's kind of my main focus I play Prot Warrior a bit too now. So you were still in stocks, thought of shit. Frost Adamus got comment on this. <laughs> well, we're glad to have you. Glad to have you. Yeah, soloing is like kind of my thing. And I figured there's nothing better and higher stakes than soloing in hardcore. If something goes wrong, it's over. Hey, seafood. Thank you for the sub. Yeah. Are my bags full? It's weird getting linen cloth again. It's going to re up everything now. Close to falling off. Wreck Troy of Classic. If that's a retail player. Oh, wait. Is that the guy who, uh, he like finds all the bugs and like one shots people and stuff? I don't really play retail, so I don't usually know a lot of that stuff. He solos raids, okay. Yeah, that's that's what I try to. Guide content is the best. Pink pars, hell yes, hell yes. Glad you like it. Um, I'll have more stuff coming out for phase three too. Uh, these guys should all be solo poles, right? For days immunity, you need defense equal to 5x the mob level. Hmm. Okay. Wait. That can't be right. Does that mean a level 80 mob, you would only need 400 defense? So that that's how much defense a level 80 player has. So that would mean a level 80 player is immune to days from a level 80 mob. I don't think that's true. Yeah. 
This would be a great time to be a dwarf. Crazy shit with mage spell seal to get him buff that increases frost damage. Do a blink cone cold one shot on a boss. Whoa. Damn. Does anybody remember? So way back in the day in vanilla, it was the TBC pre patch in vanilla, like 2006 or whatever. Um. Warriors Rampage um, Fury Warriors at the time it was the version where it's like uh, like a stacking AP buff in the TBC pre-patch they could infinitely stack it and get any amount of attack power they wanted so on patch day there were Fury Warriors stacking it to you know the millions or something and they were going into Naxxramas, like vanilla Nax and one-shotting bosses. <laughs> that was like the first, like, absolutely insane bug I remember. And wow. There's probably a video of it too, maybe. People had like fraps back then. Mm, quick YouTube search doesn't bring up anything, but there might be something out there. Although people got banned for that stuff back then, so they might not have recorded it. And I, th I think Blizzard just knew who like exploited it too, and they they did get banned. Uh oh, there he is. There's our boy. Oh, he's only level twenty six, dude. Okay. I guess I already did all the heavy lifting. I see a chest back there, though. Forgot all about fraps. <laughs> Dude, I was... Uh, man, so when Vanilla WoW came out, I was 13 years old. And I got fraps. And I was recording stuff, like just the dumbest stuff, but I thought it was really cool because I was 13. Like my shaman, you know, like doing the North Watch, uh, like by Ratchet, the North Watch uh, human quest stuff. Like I had like videos about like dumb stuff like that. Raps was the coolest thing ever as a kid. It was like so mind blowing at the time that I could like record what I was doing in the game. How about when the Pally Stack Reckoning one shot? Yeah, Kazakh. Yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Okay, yeah, that was. I mean, that wasn't a bug though. That was just like Blizzard not understanding like the capability of the talent they created but that was sick <laughs> sorry not grenades all the king we so we were watching uh what was that guy's name uh kungan like a couple of months ago that came up and we were watching like something about it on stream 
And then I watched like the Kangen one where he like gives his side of the story. I I think I believe Kangen that like they didn't actually like do it on purpose. Because like Serenite Bob is literally just part of every every DPS rotation. Oh man, do I have to fight three of these? There's a prisoner too. Uh... I think I can do this. I gotta kill the prisoner ASAP though. Oh, I think he just threw his kick. Okay. Yeah, that's actually just his kick. I guess he randomly uses it sometimes. Famous last words, I think I can do this, yeah, exactly. That was a pretty close one, because I mean, I, I don't know if LOH up, so that's pretty significant. Let's go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, or silver upgrade, all right. Uh, what quests do you have left? Okay, we gotta kill a Dextrin Ward. Gotta kill a few trash mobs. Fortunately, Basil Thread despawned. I think, is this, okay, just two pull, perfect. If he was in that position when I pulled, I think he pulls two, but I don't know.
Dextrin with the fear, yeah, good reminder, good reminder. Oh, next up to solo Nomer? Yeah, I might try that. Not totally sure. Definitely SM is on the docket. Not sure what level I want to be for Graveyard, though. Maybe like 36? Might be able to do some no more quests at least. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I'm sure I could at least do some. I, I mean, I feel like at this point I can basically solo anything that's like single pulls and double pulls. Triple pulls are like the hardest thing. I think there are a decent amount of those in Nomer, though. Aren't there, like, quite a few reset spots, too, though? Does SM share the same dungeon ID? What's up, Arrow? That's a really good question. Does anybody know how SM works for Hardcore? Because, like, technically they are the same dungeon, right? All of them? Graveyard sounds tough with the mobs applying stacking emulation. Casting Shabble. As long as there's LOS, casters are really, really easy. Because they'll never actually hit you. Oh, wait, I missed this. There's another mob back there. Hmm, that's annoying. Yeah, well, we got Burst Sim down. It's up. Uh, Actually, he's got like almost as much HP as his ward does. Uh, I'm just going to check my escape route. I think I'll be fine. Putting my good bandage on there too. I think I'm just going to kill these two. That's a prisoner. Oh, wait, it's a double prisoner. <laughs> Dumb. Prisoners are the worst. Stop disarm. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bob and Bob uh, the heal. Yeah. How often does Ward fear? That's like the only thing I'm really concerned about. If he just kind of spams it and it doesn't break from damage. So it's like a stun. I thought that might happen, but I, I thought that was way too optimistic. Okay. So, kind of just a joke. <laughs> We did get out of the stockade solo one insanely thrilling moment. But looks like the hard part is over. We are we're done. I just gotta kill a couple trash mobs to finish that one quest. Let's see, two convicts, two insurgents. Is this a convict? Inmate. Inmate. Check for the rare spawn. Wait, where where can it be? Just like anywhere? Do you know the name of it? Slash tar brew doesn't give anything. Oh well, oh well. Oh, okay. Insurgent. Wait, where are the convicts? I thought they might be in this area. I'm not really seeing any though. Are they at the very beginning? Oh, there's one that pats a convict. I'm so hyped still about that Basil Thread solo. I think that might be my favorite thing I've done in Hardcore yet. That was so spicy. I thought I was so dead there. I don't know if it's been clipped. It will be in the uh, the stockade solo video though. And like a highlight video for this belly at some point. Thank <laughs> you. 
One convict, one insurgent, and we're out. Not sure what I should do next. Maybe more hills, Brad? Got a decent amount to do. Better level for it now, too. All right. Convicts anywhere? It really gonna make me clear an entire room to get to the convict. There's gotta be another one somewhere. Guess that's it. Yo, what's up, Gats? I'm being careful. I'm being careful. Hey, animated. Stockade's 100% soloable. I soloed everything except Hamhawk. I should have brought Slumber Sand for him, but I got everything else, including a very, very spicy Basil Thread kill. I should say unnecessarily spicy. I didn't know he was going to run away when he got low. So I didn't judge him. And... It was almost a disaster.
Pumped to be able to get Tarmir from Vendor. Yes, absolutely. Seems that is the only way I can possibly get it. Ooh, 51. Oh, God. He's deep in Jadenar, I think, right? Like underground. That place is so scary. That is the biggest cave in the game. It literally takes like, what, probably 10 minutes to go from the beginning of it to the end if you're only running. It is huge. DM the clip, all right. Yeah, I could have just done that. Oh, well. Dude, he pulled them from so far away, too. That's crazy. Oh, my God. I was so lucky. Oh my god. I can't believe I made it out. That was insane. Dude, the emotional roller coaster I was on there. Like, as I'm getting Basil low, I'm like, oh, okay. I got him. Easy peasy. We got it. Then, he's, then he runs. And I really just needed to justice and judge immediately. At the time, I thought you had to do it preemptively, though. Um, 
And then he doesn't even make it out of the room and he aggroes those guys outside, which was crazy. I also wasn't expecting that. And... Oh wait, am I all done? Okay, I'm 